Greetings gamers. Now at Summer Game Fest, I got to play Mortal Kombat 1. Me and Sohiki got to play it, and I noticed something kind of interesting. They have these cameo fighters, right? Uh, each player gets to pick a cameo fighter that can come in and do attacks and even do their own fatalities at the end of the match. And uh, a funny thing we kind of noticed is that Jax is kind of a liability as a cameo fighter. He can come in on your side, but his ground slam attack just hurts anyone in the vicinity. He doesn't really care who he's attacking. He will damage you if you are there. You can see here, uh, Sohiki is playing Kenshi, and even though he's blocking and he's called in his cameo fighter, he gets hit by that attack. It's not the same though with Kano. That cannonball whizzed right by me and it did not damage me as Sub-Zero. But you can see again, Jax's slam attack actually hurting the player who called him in. And you can see right here, in fact, not only does he damage Sohinki as Kenshi, but he completely misses me. He does hit my Kano. And this is interesting, though, because when my Kano gets hit, I take damage. Now, this got me thinking that's sort of a jerk thing for Jax to do to damage the guy who's on his team. And look at this. When Kano comes in, he actually makes his ally duck. He puts his head out of the way so that none of that laser hits Sub-Zero when he's doing his cameo attack. That is fascinating because that is not something you would think a bad guy would do. It seems like the roles would be reversed. Like Kano might hit you with his eye laser when he comes in, but Jax would make sure not to damage uh, someone on his team. It's kind of a good guy thing to do. Get your partner out of the way if you're gonna do a damaging attack. So I'm wondering in this new realm that Liu Kang has created, if Kano is a good guy and maybe Jax is a bad guy. Uh, judging by these attacks, it feels like there's a little hint in there that that might be what's happening. We saw in the trailer, it looks like Sub-Zero and Scorpion are going to be teaming up. They're more brothers than enemies, so maybe uh, this new world has flipped the script on Jax and Kano. Also, the script has been flipped on Liu Kang and Raiden. Raiden is now the student where Liu Kang is the god. So yeah, maybe we have a, a role reversal happening here. That'll be interesting to see. So I hope I'm right about the Kano Jax role reversal, but right now it's just a theory. A game theory. Oh wait, I'm sorry. I just, I received a letter and it looks like, um, yes, I am being sued uh, by Matt Pat. So uh, I do apologize. Uh, getting back into the game, you can see as Katana, she's got a move that gets her across the board really quick. And so that's a good time to call in Jax. You call in Jax and then you use that to get out of the way. You see it worked there. Uh, here you can see Jax taking some more damage from Liu Kang's fireball attack there. And Jax even cost Sohinki a match when he was playing Kenshi. You see, Sohinki as Kenshi was blocking, but he had called in Jax, and Jax kind of wandered in and got hit by that freeze. You can see the look on Kenshi's face here. He can't even see, but he's like, this puppy. I can't believe this guy is the reason I'm losing. He just wanders in and gets it. He's very upset. A few more instances, you can see Jax trying to get out of frame here, but takes a kick from Liu Kang to the face. That cost Katana some damage. You can see right there, Kano getting hit with a kick and that costs some damage as well. Moving on briefly from cameos, I wanna talk about taunts. You can see if you teabag here, if you hit down four times, they each do an individualized taunt, and you are locked into that animation, so you gotta be confident when you do it, because your opponent can kick you in the face while you're doing that, and then you're gonna be screwed. Also, I wanted to mention throws. Throws are interesting with the cameo system. If you have your cameo available, uh, your cameo fighter will come in, and assist you on a throw. You can see they got some cool ones there. Uh, but if you don't have your cameo fighter available, you can still do a throw yourself and you do just as much damage, which is odd. So now I'm gonna show you a full match too, just so you get some uninterrupted gameplay in there. We'll go full screen. I'll get my face off the screen so you can actually see what's happening. And we're gonna do, uh, I'm playing Sub-Zero, so Hinky's playing Kenshi, and we'll just see what a full match looks like. Gage Mansion. I've learned your secret. Have the others? Is that the Lin Kuei's new tactic? Extortion? All right, so a fun little interaction there between Sub-Zero and Kenshi. You can see my cameo fighter is gonna be Kano, and his is going to be Jax. So he's got the wild card, <laughs> the liability as I call Jax. Uh, some classic Sub-Zero freeze attacks there. I'm sorry if we're bad. Uh, I haven't played Mortal Kombat in a little bit. Uh, still managing to pull off a couple combo attacks there. You can see him blocking. I love the way uh, Kenshi blocks with his sword. Very cool. Okay, no, thank you for putting my head down when you come in. Jax came in, looked like he was going to do something, but didn't do much, and then Kano threw knives at him. <laughs> so that's very interesting. You can see Sohinki has his fatal blow up. Let's see if he gets to use that. Oh my god, we kicked each other in midair. A little midair attack there. And, oh my goodness, oh, that was would have been a perfect time to use the Fatal Blow. He doesn't get it off, and I kind of break his knees with that ice, what was that, an ice mace? That was, was nuts. 
This is, we're in Kenshi's house, by the way, if you couldn't tell by the, uh... Oh, no, I'm sorry, we're in Johnny Cage's house. This is Johnny Cage's mansion. Uh, he's got the flamingo floating in the background. It's great. Nice view of the Hollywood Hills. Oof, that was a brutal attack from Sohinky. I've been punished. Let's see, my freeze goes through his little spirit blast that he did there. Trying to do it again. Not a lot of range on that thing, though. Again, we this is we got a half hour with this game, so we're figuring stuff out. That where you see three ice clones, that is the meter burn on the ice clone um, move. It usually just does one, uh, but if you pull the trigger, you can get three of them. I wish I could have capitalized on that a little more. I'm trying to get a throw in, not working. That would have been a good place for a throw. I didn't quite do it. He's playing a little bit defensively here. Oh my goodness, and he gets behind me and Kano. And uh, hits us with that sword. Not good for us. Little freeze attack there, but he didn't get all the way frozen. I guess that wasn't a, a real freeze. Ice clone, he's not falling for it. Oh, we got him there, we froze him. Oh, that should have been a throw. I don't know what I was thinking. Or something better than a throw. Oh, that was a nice air grab by Jax. He's actually doing something right. I should mention, with Cameo, if you press different directions, they'll do different attacks. So if you don't do the ground pound attack, uh, you're, you're at a much lower risk of taking that friendly fire. Alright, we're moving on to the final round. We have each one one. Cool little sword attack he did there. It did miss. Here comes Jax, ground pound. Didn't hit me, I hopped out of range. Did it hit Sohinky? I couldn't quite tell. Oof, that magic uh, sword blast that comes in from behind was rough. Oh, and there's the cameo throw. Kano comes in to knife people and then, wow, backwards, strolls off the screen. I don't know, that looked kind of evil. Maybe my theory about him being good is wrong, I don't know. <laughs> All right, okay, good. He got me with the, he stayed in the air there when Jax came in and he hit me and didn't take any friendly fire damage. He's learning getting the jacks down a nice uh spirit sword attack that he did there it's, it's iced up for a second but comes right back neither one of us are using a lot of meter burn oh you can see he's got that spirit that spirit can move independently of him if you block and uh press move while that spirit is out you will stay in one place and the spirit will move oh we caught him with the fatal blow kano's gonna come in and help me out little eye lasers through the back of your skull not sure how you're getting up through that uh but oh my god yeah, that should... Oh, no. The the ice mace on top of... The ice hammer on top of everything. Wow, he's just going to walk that off. Okay. Looked like his skull was pretty shattered, but, you know, whatever. I will catch him with the block. Jack's very disappointed that we didn't get to... They didn't get to stomp me together. And boom! A brutality to finish things off. And you know what? On that note, I think I'll leave you with a little montage of some extreme violence. Enjoy. Hope you enjoyed that. Hey, if you want to see our whole trip to Summer Game Fest where I got to play this game, you could click over here on the Ogsog channel. If you want to see more from LaserCorn or learn what Summer Game Fest is, you could click over here for a LaserCorn channel video. Don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, we'll have more content coming to you real soon.